back here. And yeah, this was <laughs> interesting. I guess. And you know, a lot of concerts that have happened through the years. And this is mainly why mosh pitting has stopped in concerts. A lot of trample people and just weird shit that goes on and yeah. It stopped for a reason. But there's still concerts out there that I guess don't part of that shit. I don't really know, but anyways. Travis Scott has had a concert in Houston, Astro World, and there was a riot. Eight people died. Now, it's said that even, I'll get to him in a minute, but Obviously, he's going to be sued for the deaths of those individuals, and rightfully so. He left a video, well, just a while ago, and stating that he feels terrible, and these are human lives that he fucking took. Like, he didn't, obviously, murder anybody, but... These were humans that were killed, tragically, and, you know. And that's, like every concert that I mentioned, some of them have issues and some of them have deaths. And Basically, it seems like, well, I mean, if he does show a Mars, then that's fine, I understand that, but... It's apparent that he is the person who goes to his shows and incites riots and says, Hey, you know what? Why don't... You know, he just says, Why? Basically, let your frustration sound. And that's basically what happens. And he allows that at his shows. So I feel like he doesn't really care. And that's harsh, but that's the truth. I don't think he understands, I'll say, what happened at that concert. And even Drake made an appearance. And so, Travis and I believe Drake are being sued. Um, Travis, I can understand. Now, I guess I'm not sure about Drake or what's gonna happen or why he's being charged but I understand that he showed up and it's a, a tricky thing to have a concert and have your fans go crazy and riot and sometimes get carried away but when you provoke them I guess I'm not even sure. I found that out today and I'm like, you know, there's been a lot of... And by the way, this isn't his first, you know, brush with the law with these kind of things. So, yeah, it should have been stopped. He should have been stopped a long time ago in my opinion, but there's been a lot of riots out there over the years, over the decades. Rolling Stones and Aldemar at Woodstock 69, he got the concert, I believe it was in the early 90s with ACDC, some people that trampled their mosh pits are basically banned because of all of that. So, I don't know what to say about that, but anyways, there was that story. Now, you have... I just saw this now, but Dave Elfson of Megadeth. Well, first of all, he's fired from Megadeth now. And basically, allegations are made that 
he's been half, and it's not funny, but relations with a 19-year-old. He's 56. You do the math. God damn it. Are you out of your fucking mind? Seriously? That's... Yeah, and, you know, it just kind of pisses me off when that kind of stuff happens. I mean, it's apparent that Megadeth and Dave Ellison have had a rocky relationship since all the early 2000s, I guess. So this kind of just adds fuel to the fire, but he's out of the band and not sure who's going to be playing bass for them now, but... It just fucking sucks. But, anyways, that's the news that I wanted to talk about. Because it's just miraculous. And there's a video that someone posted. It was Loudwire, actually. About metal and hard rock bands who have stopped concerts just to deal with reckless fans. And that's apparent that Travis didn't do that, so... Anyways. There it is. Talk to later. Oh, Bye. So, you know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming. But, you know, I think that there's this myth out there that Jamie Keller... No, that's why he you know, took pleasure at cutting WCW. I don't think that's the case at all. I mean, you look at some of his earlier interviews that he...